Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the first Friday of March. It is payday for me. I got paid from my full-time job and my part-time job today. Um, so I am sitting down to fill out my budget for the week in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Um, so in this video I will be doing my weekly budget check-in where I take all of the expenses from my cash envelopes that I spent throughout the week um, and totaling those up in my transactions and then transferring them over to my weekly check-in. And then I'm also going to take a look at what bills I have coming up in the upcoming week. Um, and then in the next video, I will do my cash envelope and um, sinking fund stuffing video. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. This is my March overview. Um, I use this binder strictly for budgeting. Um, I don't do anything else in this binder except anything to do with my finances and my budget. Um, so this is just a look at my monthly overview so as you guys can see, I have all of my bills laid out here, um, and then I also have my various paydays throughout the month, and then these little stickers here are my expense trackers. Um, so pink is the spending category, purple is groceries, orange is gas, Blue is sinking funds and the tealish color is unbudgeted. So that is how I track my expenses um, throughout the week. Just gonna clip that back in there. Um, I do have my billfold here and I'm not going to take them out yet, but I have my um, different ca uh, cash envelope dividers in there for groceries, spending, and gas. So we'll get that out here in just a second. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my various expenses for the first week of March and then I'm going to transfer them over here to the transaction section and then total them over here in week one. So that is what we are working on right now. Okay, so the first one, I always go to the grocery store on Mondays, um, but I actually had some spending expenses on Sunday, the 28th. Now that technically is still part of February, but it's in my first week of budgeting for March, so I'm going to put it on March's budget. So the first one is Target, so that was on 2 dollars um, The amount was $14.97. And category is spending. That comes from my spending cash envelope. And the description of that one was Target. All right. So I'm just going to put a check mark on that expense. And then next, same day um, after I went to Target, I stopped at Taco Bell and got a quick lunch. So it was still 228. That total was 751. Category of spending. Um, my spending category I use for basically anything kind of personal for myself. Um, when I do my next uh, video and go through my sinking funds, you'll see that I have various sinking funds set up for household goods, um, haircuts kids, medical, all of those things. So spending for me is, you know, if I am at work and I didn't pack a lunch that day, I'm and I'm going to go get something for lunch. Anything like that. Anything that is kind of personal for me that I don't already have a cash envelope for uh, or a sinking fund for, that's kind of what I use my spending category as. So that was Taco Bell. Um, and then next is on Monday, I went to Hy-Vee and got groceries. 
Um, now I did bump up my grocery uh, weekly budget to $100. I was at, I think, $80. Yeah. And I bumped it up to $100. Um, so we, I spent $88.11 at the grocery store on Monday. So that is groceries. <clears throat> and I did that at Hy-Vee. Okay, so I had no spending categories on Tuesday. So I actually have here, I have some no spend stickers. If I can find them. There they are. And if you're interested in any of the stickers that you see, um, every single sticker in this binder uh, comes from my shop, which is www.morijune.com. So we'll put a no spend sticker there on Tuesday. Um, and then next we have Wednesday. So I have a spending expense and a gas expense. Um, so we'll start with spending. That was Subway. I forgot what I was doing here. One more. There we go. Okay, so that was on 3-3. Three, three. And that was the category, oops, of spending. And then that was for Subway. And that was $9.89. And then next is gas. Um, I'm in the area that I live. I live in Iowa. Um, I, it's probably just like you guys, gas is climbing high very quickly. Um, I live in the Midwest, so gas here is less expensive than someplace like, you know, Chicago or California or New York, you know, those bigger areas. Um, but it's still, for us, is it, it's expensive. The cost of living here is cheaper, um, but then also still, so are your wages. So, um, but gas, like at the middle-ish of February, was in the 220 uh, per gallon, and now we're at, I think last night I um, was looking, it was 289 so it's jumped like 40 cents within the last three weeks. It's absolutely insane. My um, gas budget for probably the last year has been 40, $45 a week, um, and now I had to bump it up to $60 because it's, I can't go, I mean it's $58 every time I have to fill up, so that's crazy. Um, so gas this week was fifty nine thirty one. So if you guys are <clears throat> in a uh, more expensive city and your gas is higher, I definitely feel for you. Um, it is just crazy how high and how fast that has happened. So this category is gas, and the description uh, is Casey's. That is where I fill up. Um, and then the last expense I have for the week is on Thursday the 4th. Um, the teal color, if you remember, is unbudgeted. Um, I bought a couple pairs of shoes on Amazon. Um, I keep seeing them everywhere now. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name of them. Oh, Blowfish. They're just like really casual slip-on shoes and they have a million different colors. I got kind of like a creamy white um, and then a like smoky gray color. Um, they're just super cute and they're really comfortable and I've needed a new pair of shoes for quite some time. Um, I'm not a shoe, shoe person at all. My mom buys shoes like all the time. I think I have a pair of cowboy boots, a pair of mud boots and a pair of like casual shoes that I wear every single day. So I thought it was time for me to get a pair of shoes. So I got two, two shoes for 50 or two pairs of shoes for $59. So I thought that was pretty good. So that's going to go in the unbudgeted um, category for this week. And that was on the fourth. And let's see, so that was $59. 
So that was the category of unbudgeted, which obviously, you know, I try not to have unbudgeted expenses throughout the month, but it happens. So those are my expenses throughout the week. Now these obviously do not include my regular bills, you know, such as rent or TV or phone or anything like that. It does not include those types of bills that you have every month. It's just the various expenses that I have throughout the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these over to week one in my weekly check-in here to total them up and then I'll do that every single week of the month um, and then total my weekly check-ins at the very bottom um, when the month is over. So we will start with the category of spending. And what I do, I wrote down the change over here, but I don't actually mess with the change um, when I'm doing my weekly check-in. I just round it up to the next nearest dollar, and that's because I don't put the change back into my cash envelopes. Um, I put that the change in my change pocket, um, and then when I go home, I put all the change from the day into a big change jar and cash it in. I usually do it around the end of the year, um, you know, if I need a little extra for Christmas or something. Um, so I don't mess with the change. And I also do not have my phone up here. So I'm going to kind of go old school and write my totals down on a paper and add them <laughs> up. All right, I got a little notepad here. Um, so this one, so the $14.97, we're going to round up to 15 and then I have $7.51, which will round up to $8. And then I have the $9.89, which will round up to $10. So there we go. So we have $33 um, for spending. So that means I will pull out my dividers here. So for spending... I have seven dollars left over and then um, in the next video my cash envelope stuffing and my paycheck to paycheck budget I will show you guys what I do with that extra seven dollars uh, the next one we'll do groceries And I just had the one um, grocery expense, which was the eighty-eight eleven. So we'll round that up to eighty-nine. And for groceries, I had eleven dollars left over. So again, I'll put that back in there, and then I'll show you guys what I do with it in the next video. So I have eleven remaining for groceries. And then I'm going to do gas, which was $59.31. I'm going to round that up to $60. And I was supposed to round that one up. No. There we go. <laughs> and as you guys can see, there's nothing left of gas. Since my gas budget is $60, we have nothing remaining. And then last is unbudgeted. And that total was 59 and there's nothing remaining because I obviously don't budget for unbudgeted expenses. So that is the weekly check-in and then I will come in here every single week throughout the month of March, fill in my transactions and then transfer them over to um, the weekly check-in portion. Now the last thing I do at this time is I like to go through the upcoming week and see what bills I have coming out um, and get those paid if they're not on an automatic payment. Um, oh, and I'm going to put a no spend sticker on yesterday and today. So we had three no spend days during the week. Um, and I did have uh, my Capital One credit card was due this past Monday. I did get that paid. Um, that comes out as an automatic um, payment. Rent was due on the 2nd. That was paid. Um, and then cable, which actually is Hulu for me, 
that was paid yesterday and then my phone bill with Verizon um, came out today so everything that I have is an automatic payment um, except my daughter's tumbling which is actually due on Tuesday um, I just write a check and send it with her um, when she goes to tumbling around that time so we're gonna go ahead and check that off I'll send a check with her she actually goes Wednesdays and then there's no other bills next week um, I'll get paid on Monday from my shop which is www.maureenjune.com and then I'll also get paid Friday from my full-time and part-time job um, and then the following Wednesday is St. Patrick's Day, so that's exciting. And that is all I have for you guys. Um, so like I said, next video I do, I will do my paycheck to paycheck check-in, which I will use this layout to track my paycheck and see what money is going to expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, and then what I have left over. Um, and then I'll also stuff my cash envelopes and those sinking funds. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions, and I will see you next time. Bye!